Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Streggy. And tonight I have another film uh, review from Albert Payun's uh, film series, uh, Nemesis, uh, which this is the second film uh, from 1995, um, starring Sue Price um, with Filmworks and uh, Imperial Entertainment. Uh, and uh, like I said, um, in my previous review, um, I have been working off the German Blu-ray uh, box set, and uh, this one is called Neb uh, Nemesis to Nebula. And uh, so in the very beginning, we have uh, a woman that evidently is carrying a child, and she has appeared from a... Um, what looks like a a silver Rubik's cube that is kind of flat um, that ends up in the um, early 80s of Africa and uh, somehow she ends up dying and uh, the child grows up in the tribe and the uh, the child uh, goes by the name of Alex um, and she, she ends up having to go through some uh, because there is a jealous um, warrior um, that wants to challenge her for her strength. Um, that she challenges for the right of being part of the tribe, uh, my guess. And Now, Sue Price is actually uh, from from Illinois. Um, she is from Mount Prospect, Illinois, and she is a bodybuilder. Um, so at the time, um, she was really big in the bodybuilding um, um, competitions and all that jazz. So she was physically fit, uh, but she was also pretty at the same time. She had dreads. Um, and uh, so this was kind of a... This was definitely kind of a sword and sandal kind of, uh, uh, kind of, uh, um, you know, Rockwell Welsh kind of look for uh, for her. So it, it's not that we saw her naked. We uh, we it, we definitely saw her clothed. But um, during the film, there uh, uh, they actually do give a beautiful look at her backside. <laughs> um, but um, in any case, there is a cyborg that is sent after her <coughs> that is called Nebula. And he is, uh, he has come in search of her to take her back to um, wherever he, uh, he has come for, uh, from. And, uh, but um, she meets some characters along, uh, along the way, one of them being a pilot and one of them, um, being just another female that was just along for the ride, uh, so we uh, we we definitely have a few characters, and uh, there's a few um, other characters that seem to be like they are um, they are slavers of some sort that uh, that are on the that are in Africa at that point in time, so they are dealing in um, selling human humans on a black market trade uh, type of thing so um there's definitely a, a little a little bit of action there but here's the thing it's a uh, if i had seen this movie at the time that it came out i would have thought that it was a really bad film especially uh, since it was not probably not hd uh, in hd and it, it was definitely of a lower film quality at, at the time. So, uh, so uh, another thing, it is heavily, uh, it, it, it is heavily infiltrated with um, CGI effects that uh, that were uh. trademarks of Predator. So I believe that um, it is very possible that this film could have actually gotten into some kind of trouble. 
uh, with pre uh, with the Predator films be uh, because you know the, uh, the uh, this um, cyborg was uh, you you couldn't um, there was a specific way that uh, that the Predator creature uh, creature was um, all fuzzy li uh, like and kind of distorted uh, where it was more hologramish uh, and. Uh, this uh, th uh, this is something that was very noticeable about this uh, this creature um this the cyborg th that was after her and it just would not die so um to me i i could not have an entire love for this uh, film it was relative, uh, relatively bad for uh, uh, because of that and but there were aspects of the film that uh, that I was enjoying so uh, somewhat half. I mean, it's it's halfway through when they got uh, uh, got to sh uh, showing that they uh, they were almost uh, they were pretty they were ripping off the film. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ! I mean, it's one thing to entire uh, to, uh, to entirely pay tribute to a film; it's another to entirely rip it off. And I, I'm not sure whether um, this was something that Albert was doing at that point in time uh, purposely or whether he was just trying to create his own originality with the series but I can't honestly recommend th that this film be seen in conjunction with the first film I just can't see that connection I mean I see that it's within the world I mean it's in a post-apocalyptic world but I just I mean, there uh, th there were some action uh, th uh, that uh, that I liked about this uh, film. I, I uh, I'm not gonna lie, but it was just confusing. You, you you can't have it in the same world and then you know mix it with another very popular film, you know, and uh, that to me, um. <laughs> that to me was a very strong um, made me dislike the film a little bit and uh, uh, to each their own you know um, but if this film sounds like something that you would definitely like or uh, uh, like or want to see then definitely check it out in your own fashion and uh, find that set that uh, uh, that's in German it's definitely all region um, and uh, it, it's kind of cool to own. So in any case, uh, like and subscribe to my page if you uh, uh, um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, say them in the, uh, the comments. But, uh, but um, I mean, I kind of I kind of was in the middle on this one, uh, this one. And uh, it was almost a no go. <laughs> in any case, um, Definitely check my uh, my other reviews out. Uh, I, I try to be, be as truthful as possible, and uh, I enjoyed uh, trying to describe it in my own way. So uh, uh, everyone's going to have a different opinion. So definitely check my reviews out when uh, when and uh, when and if you can. Um, I'd love to hear your opinion on the film if you have seen it. Talk to you later. Bye.